Hey guys, it's Owl Captain, and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. Last time we tried to find out a bunch of information with Joey about Allie over here's death and help her move on, and I kind of got lost because I'm pretty sure I need that notebook from Kelly and Joanne's dorm room, and Kelly won't let me get it because even though she didn't care about Joanne at all, she's not going to let me go through her stuff really doesn't make sense to me but I remembered something since last time playing that I need Joey to make a distraction so I need him to I need to talk to him about something and the only place he'll talk to me is here because there's nobody else around so people won't think I'm crazy so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk to Joey Psst, Joey I don't know why she's whispering yes, in your own apartment. Uh, go through the list. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park. But that's all. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. That's not funny. You want a different answer, ask a different ghost. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> I, the only other ghosts I know are the ones I'm trying to make go away. What do you think of Adrian? Adrian? <laughs> His parents must have really hated him to saddle him with that name. Joey. Still, Ouch. to be sharing a floor with a bevy of young college ladies. Huh. Maybe he doesn't have it so bad. There are worse things, I would imagine. There are worse things. What do you think of Kelly? That kid? I suppose once you get past all that metal and the clothes and the hair and the nasty makeup, tell me how you really feel. The skin and the nasty attitude, maybe. Nah, forget it. He's really uh, not holding anything back there, is he? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. I wonder if the name Davenport has any significance. It could. You never know. That's uh, the most blasé answer ever. It could, who knows? I don't have any clue. Maybe. So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look back on this as one of the normal ones. I like the way Joey just agrees. Is like, yep, you're basically stating the obvious. Thank you very much. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. Do you know anything about Ouija boards? Those things are nothing but trouble. Now that's what you told us before. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. No, no I want to talk to you. Joey, come there, here a sec. There's some other stuff we could talk about. What is it, dear? Dear? Don't dear me. Whoa. Yeah, a lot of stuff we can talk about. Uh... How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. I mean, it looks like he's from like the 20s. I figure whatever it was, he'd kind of get over it by then. He seems to have a pretty uh, practical viewpoint on most other things. But that's something he holds close to the, close to the vest, I guess. Can you go away? Just shoo, Can please. Can you ever leave? Leave? What do you mean, leave? Leave. Get out of my apartment. Go somewhere else. What, don't you like me? What's well, not that. Well, it's I just, just met you. Well, what about privacy? I'll turn my back when you're in the shower, don't worry. And what about personal space? I'm a ghost. It's not like I take up any space. That's not you what I mean. You know what See? I mean. Sorry, darling, no can do. I told you I can't travel far from my hosts. I can go maybe 30 feet before something stops me. That must be annoying. That's eh, not so bad now. After 25 years watching your aunt drool, this is like staying at the Ritz. So if Rosa ever brings home somebody to uh, have fun with, does that mean Joey's going to be like 30 feet away? Does he go like in the hall? Like, All right, I'm going to go in the hall, maybe, where I hopefully can't see or hear anything. That, that seems awkward. I don't care if he turns around. Can't you stay still? 
Yeah, stop uh, popping up and down. The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> you sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Do you have any ghostly powers? Ooh. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Ooh, Neat trick, huh? Spooky! Not really. Everyone's a critic. There we go. Uh, go back. Let's ask about history. Ooh, cool. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? Uh, she's my did. aunt. Can't you tell Come me on. anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. That seems like a cop out. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. These are pretty uh, evasive answers. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My oh. parents? Jack. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I guess I knew that. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. Who did you think it was? Ghosts. Uh, I already talked about that before. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. All right. So I know I needed that ability to, for him to know about coming? blowing the yeah, sure. air, the wind, to get the notebook. I just remember that part. So back to the hall dorm. I'm kind of surprised Joey doesn't just like walk through or float through all these uh, doors. It's open. After you. I'm also kind of surprised they just let us wander into this dorm yeah. over and over again. Can I use your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Just hurry up. This isn't suspicious at all. I'm just gonna wander into your dorm and then be like, hey, can I use your phone? You don't really know me. Like, wait, what? Thanks again, Kelly. Nope, nope. Yeah, what? sure. Uh, okay, I don't can know. Can I use there. your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine, yeah, whatever. Just hurry up. Alright, jo Joey, come here. Stop moving. Stop moving. You're hard to click on. Hello, there. could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Nice one. Got it. Michael and Joey, for being a ghost, is so dense. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, he couldn't figure out we were, like, trying to you do the trick. All right, let's get out of here so I don't read it in front of her. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Sweet. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. All right, let's read the... Nope. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. As the all good people like to do. The last notebook are pretty strange. Hmm. I'd better take a closer look. Yes, you should. Oh, okay. Oh, doodle and a message. So back when I was in college, I used to doodle a bunch of my notebook, ex especially during my, I'm pretty sure it was my analog electronics class. I definitely doodled a lot. And... I definitely know I drew a picture of mm, the monorail cat, which if you look up as a meme someplace, there's a picture of a cat like on top of a 
TV or something. I'm not sure what's on top of. But you can't see his legs. You just see his face. It looks like it's a monorail. So I always appreciate Doodles and Classberg for even work notes. I have a bunch of Doodles and a bunch of my work notes also. I used to do them while I was uh, listening to other people at meetings and I didn't have any input on what was going on. Let's see. Joanne and eh, nobody crossed out. Susan and Alexander. Alexander Davenport. So many men, so little time. Allie and who knows? Apparently, uh, lots of people. Did, did I get the fact that it was Alexander? Nothing? I mean, can we make the assumption that it's Davenport? Now, let's look at the message first. What's it say? Can't hear the prof. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. Can't concentrate. Allison is gone. He made her go. Susan is gone too. They won't let me see her. I am the only one left. Have to hold on. What do you want? What do you want? Creepy. Alright, notes. Alexander! Can I put this with Davenport? Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. I would think so. So, can I put this with Susan? Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Alright, so this might get me into Susan. See if Kelly knows anything about Alexander Davenport. Probably not. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. I just want to ask you a question. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Do you know an Alexander Davenport? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And we're out of here. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. She's so helpful. Let's go see Adrian. Maybe he knows Alexander Davenport. Odds don't seem very likely, though. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Creepy smile. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Also, how lucky is it that all these people are just in their dorms all day? Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Well, okay, that's useless too. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. All right, bye now. I want to see Susan Lee. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... Uh, Susan... Susan doesn't know me by that name. Oh. She calls me something totally different. Creepy smile. Really? Well, what name would be on the list? Uh... I can't use that, that's a man's name. Oh, crap. My name is... Allie. My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. Really? I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. What about, uh... I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Uh, Joanne. You, she wasn't on dead. The guest list. So they talk, talked oh, about well, Susan being taken away, because... so... Uh... <laughs> I gave you the wrong name. What? You did what? Yeah. Gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh. That's the best you could come up with? Smooth. Really? He seems... Well, what is your name? He seems... Not sure about that one. My name is Joanne. Sorry, 
There are no Joannes on the guest list. Huh. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. Seems like a good try. I, what if, I still would have thought she had been on there. Hmm. Thanks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, and I remember this part. So, you take Alexander Davenport, and you go Adrian. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what that means. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. Oh, well... That's because... That's because, uh, you're stupid. You didn't see it? Yeah, you're, Maybe you should you're check blind. Again. I missed it, huh? I'm sure of it. Let me just insult well, you. let's check again. What was your name again? My name is Alex Davenport. My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Sweet. We've made it. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? Alright. We have now broken into Susan Lee's hospital room under false pretenses so uh this is a good place to end this episode uh, i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time if you liked it then uh please like and subscribe and see you guys later